with special focus on the recent turn of events in Nigeria as it concerns the allegations and counter allegations rocking the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation and the Ministry of Interior. The National Civil Society Council of Nigeria has commended President Bola Tinibu for actions taken so far towards proper investigations of the allegations of fraud in the affected ministries. In a press briefing this Thursday in Abuja, the Executive Director of National Civil Society Council of Nigeria, Blessing Akin Losotu, said regarding the case of the Minister of Interior, Bumutun Joju, and the affected company, there is a clear evidence that the minister and his wife have resigned before now from the company. He therefore frowned at mock judgment at the minister and called on Nigerians to restrain. Blessing also added that if the result does not have him fraud or cross misconduct concerning Beta Yudu, the president should be magnanimous enough to give her a second chance so as not to discourage young, energetic, and innovative Nigerians from governance. Honorable Tunji Ojo, as Minister in Charge of Interior, and his performance record with natural consequence, actions and reactions, in less than three months, Honorable Tunji Ojo has shown uncommon brilliance and exceptional capacity with amazing achievement as the Interior Minister within short, a very short time frame. We believe strongly that issues going around the humanitarian affairs that has linked to as many as possible people need to be properly investigated and the president is highly commended for his tweet reactions he has taken. We are only uh, alerting the public that the situation that is ongoing should be left to be sustained. Why we don't drag pettiness into what is already uh, achieved by Mr. President. But we should also let the world know that it is high time we leave ethnic, uh, religious bias, and also issues that are not critically concerned with that uh, investigation, so that we don't keep creating much crisis, and at the end of the day, we won't be able to be focused to get results of the appropriate actions and reactions that we desire and needed. Other concerned members of the civil society group said the World Press Conference aims at ensuring good governance and accountability, as well as correcting erroneous information in the public space without prejudice, personal or political, on that tune. And we are not being sponsored by anybody. We are not here to protect or to change the narrative in support of any of the people that were inducted. But we are passionate Nigerians and that we believe that we are stakeholders including these great nations. And we have a key, we have a role to play. And if you are a media, you are a civil society, you don't dwell on rumors. And in, in the course of doing our job, to know the truth, we bump on so many issues, and most of the issues on ground are not what you, you are hearing in the media. And therefore, we will continue to update Nigerians, we will continue to update uh, the media on our finding, so that whoever is found wanting in the course of this investigation should be dealt with. And whoever is not found to be invested any force should be exonerated yes. because so there are so many narratives going on there and from our finding most of them are false and if care is not taken uh, we are likely going to throw the baby with the bath in water i'm sure you know that the minister of the interior did not just start today people have heard that of his various time and the complaint has always been the same Mm. 
The civil society community also commended the decision of President Bola Metinibu to reduce the size of federal entourage of both local and foreign trips aimed at cutting down the cost of governance. They also called on both the legislature and the judiciary to follow suit in order to save the nation's economy. Thank you.